1 Corinthians 9, 1 and 2. I am not an apostle. Of course, Paul's being sarcastic here. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? The answer is Paul was an apostle, yes. An apostle to the Gentiles. Paul was free, except for when he was in prison. But this is more being a slave, which Paul never was. Although Paul set himself as a bondservant, choosing to be a slave for Christ. Is there any doubt that I am a genuine messenger? Is it denied that I am an apostle? Any doubt I am a free man? Is it denied that I am a from free from man's authority? Am I not free, unrestrained, and exempt from any obligation? Um, have not I seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Have not I seen in Jesus Christ our Lord with my own eyes. Is it denied that I have seen the Lord? Now, this was in a vision on his road to the mass. Uh, Paul didn't firsthand witness the life and ministry of Christ, but he did saw him on the road to the mass. And it changed his life forever. Are not ye my work in the Lord? Is it denied that ye, you are the fruits of my labor in the Lord? Are you not the product of my work in the Lord's service? Are you not your, yourselves my work achieved in union with the Lord? So for all saying, yes, I've seen the Lord. I've received the Lord. And you all are fruit of what the Lord's done with me. We as Christians all have a purpose. We're all free from sin. And have are to be under God's commission. We all have had, should have a testimony. How the Lord's brought us to faith. And we all should have fruits. Of the Lord being in our life. Verse 2. If I be not an apostle unto others, yet that was. <sighs> I am to you. Even if other people should refuse to recognize my divine commission, yet to you, at any rate, I shall always be true messenger. If others do not accept me as an apostle, you at least are bound to do so. So what Paul's saying is here, is even if they reject me as an apostle, you shouldn't because you know what the Lord's done in me. Because you're a product of that. Uh, there's a problem in the vision. We see this in the early part of this letter where there was some denying Paul. And it's brought to fruition here. He's talking about it. And what Paul's saying is, even if they do, you shouldn't. Because you know who I am. For the seal of mine apostleship are ye in the Lord. You are yourselves the seal which stamps the reality of my apostleship. For you are a living proof of God's calling to me. For you yourselves, by virtue of your union with the Lord, are proof of my apostleship.